Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode I'm going to teach you some amazing survival hacks using everyday household items. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Now this will be an ongoing series where I'm going to be taking everyday household items, things you're going to have in your car, your bedroom, your house, and teach you some awesome life slash survival hacks that you can do to better equip yourself if an emergency ever arises. Well, let's not waste any time and dive right into this. Now this hack is a pretty simple one using trick birthday candles or relight candles as some people call them. Two of the biggest factors that can mess you up in a survival situation when you're trying to get a fire started is water or wind. And being able to have a wind resistant candle such as this is extremely, extremely useful. In this next hack, I'm going to show you how to use some black felt to uh, create an insulating layer to your shoes and also create a higher level of comfort for walking. We need a sole of your shoe and some black felt. Once you have your felt cut out to shape, you can use double sided tape if you want to or just leave it open, but you just slide it in underneath the sole and you very cheaply have added an insulating layer and a comfort layer to the bottom of your shoe. Now this shoe has the felt and that one doesn't. So my wife has the shoes on. Which one feels better? That one, it actually feels really good. Really? Yeah, you can tell the difference. Nice. For this next hack, all we need is some nail polish and Q-tips. A lot of people see petroleum jelly and cotton balls as an amazing fire starter, but a lot of people overlook this little powerhouse. You literally just take the nail polish, and just paint right here on either end. Now what I like to do with these is, since how you can see that I did both sides, just take them. Once they're snipped, you end up having six fire starters with three Q-tips. Now, just imagine just one bottle of nail polish and like a $2 pack of Q-tips. You can end up with five, 600 fire starters. We all know how well petroleum jelly and cotton balls light. So we're gonna take this and start fluffing it out. And you have a nice little fire starter. It doesn't burn really fast. This is a seemingly unlikely hack However, simple everyday guitar picks are made of a substance called celluloid and it is extremely flammable. It starts fires really, really easy. However, they are super thin. Adding two or three of these into your EDC device by sliding them into your wallet, you have a very ready fire starter at your fingertips and it takes absolutely no space.
waterproofing your matches. For this hack, all we need are some matches and nail polish. This hack is pretty simple. You literally just take it and you dip it into the nail polish. So now they're dry. Let's test them and see if they're waterproof. We'll just dump them in some water. Let them kind of dry out a little bit. Not a lot though. Oh yeah. That works really, really well. This hack is gonna show you how to let your matches last longer. Typically when you light a match, they burn really, really, really fast. They don't last long at all, especially in windy conditions. This is actually a really easy trick. You basically just feather stick using the match stick. And it seems to burn just a whole lot slower. It stays right in that area for several seconds before it starts going all the way down. This next survival hack involves pantyhose. Being exposed to the elements in a survival situation can leave you vulnerable to becoming sick, getting hurt, or cause you to become incapacitated or debilitated and not be able to do what you need to do normally. In a winter situation, you can actually wear these under everything, under your boxers and everything, and it creates an insulating layer to just give you more layers before you put on things like long johns and I know a lot of you guys are going to scream at that but these are extremely cheap. Also the thin mesh being underneath your clothing when you're out say somewhere like you're hunting can prevent ticks from being able to latch onto your skin. This particular hack will involve shoes. You cut it to the length you need about the same length of the sock you will be wearing in your outdoor situation. Putting this on before you put your socks on can help you reduce friction and keep you from getting blisters and things like that. This is a well-known hack involving recycled egg cartons, some candle wax, and the lint from your dryer. Now for anyone who doesn't know this hack, you take some dryer lint, you start sticking it into all these little nooks and crannies. Then you melt your wax. Once your wax is fully melted, you go ahead and you pour the wax all over the place. Once the wax dries, then you go ahead and cut these little individual cartons out. Once these are cut out, now you have a very reliable fire starter that will stay lit for like 10 to 15 minutes. Did I mention they light really easily? Now we're already over the five minute mark and it's still burning really well, so I don't think anyone can deny these are amazing, cheap fire starters just using things that you already have in your house. This next hack has got to be one of my favorites and it involves household bleach. You can fill a dropper bottle such as this with just normal household bleach and adding one or two drops of water in up to two liters of water can help you filter and clean without actually having to worry about boiling your water. This next hack is pretty incredible. It involves using your windshield sunscreen reflector. Almost every single person has one of these in their car. And the thing I like about them is if you catch yourself in a survival situation and you don't have everything with you, you only have a small bug out bag, a little tiny get home bag, maybe your EDC kit is all you got. 
you can use your reflective uh, windshield reflector to actually, they unfold really, really, really big. You find a couple leaves on the ground, a little pile of bed of grass, and you use this and you sleep on top of it as a makeshift dry place to sleep. Also, if you're in a cold environment, the greatest thing is so you don't lose a lot of body heat in that cold environment. Because it's reflective, if you sleep close enough to the fire, the reflective properties will bounce the heat back up into your body while you're laying down. This last and final hack for today will involve ramen noodles and antifreeze. First you grab the ramen, open it up. Using ramen noodles as a improvised camp stove can give you up to 20 minutes of fuel to cook the food. All you gotta do is saturate the ramen in the antifreeze just for a little bit. It doesn't take very long for that camp stove, the ramen noodle camp stove, to start boiling water and get you ready to actually cook real food that you most likely caught out in the survival situation. It's been, I don't know, about 15 minutes and it's still on and burning. I mean, that ramen camp stove is just legit. I really hope you guys enjoyed all these survival hacks that I showcased for you guys today. They're really simple to do, and the absolute best part is with it's with nothing but things you have lying around your house. This will be an ongoing series that I'll be doing. I'll be showcasing like you know 10 to 12 survival hacks of things that you might have seen before, and hopefully quite a few others that you haven't. But um, that just about does it for now. I really hope you guys throw a big thumbs up to this video. If these are the kind of tips tricks and DIY projects you guys want to check out and definitely share this video out so other people if you enjoyed this video can see it in your other social media networks and subscribe for more awesome videos gear reviews and all the things like that but that just about does it I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day I'm out